In this video, we'll solve a word problem by carefully translating the words of the problem into symbols, and then we'll use those symbols to set up equations, and then solve those equations. Here's the problem we'll be working on. A contest has several cash prizes, a first place prize, and three honorable mention prizes. Each of the honorable mention prizes is half as much as the first place prize. If the total of all the prizes is $150, how much is the first place prize? So again, we've got a lot of information here, but let's try to break it down and take each sentence and translate that into an equation. The first sentence doesn't really give us much information, except it does tell us that there are three honorable mention prizes, and that will come up a little bit later. The second sentence says, each of the honorable mention prizes is half as much as the first place prize. An important step in solving these word problems is giving variable names to the quantities that we're talking about. So, and usually it's a good idea to use the first letter just so that you can help yourself keep track of what stands for what. So I'm going to let H stand for my honorable mention prize, and F stand for my first place prize. So when the sentence says that each honorable mention prize is half as much as the first place prize, that means that the honorable mention prize equals a half times the first place prize, half as much. Now we're also told that the total of all the prizes is $150. Now when you see that word total, what we're saying is we're adding up all the prizes. So what are all the prizes? Well, we've got the first place prize, and we've also got three honorable mention prizes. So three times H. And if we add all those prizes together, we'll get our $150. So here are our equations. Now what we have to do is use algebra to solve these equations. What you want to notice here is that we've got two variables. We've got our h variable, and we've also got our f variable. And in general, that's something that we don't like. What we'd like to do is try to eliminate one of those variables and get down to a situation where we've got an equation with only one variable in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute. We're going to take this first equation, h equals 1 half f, and we're going to use that to substitute in for the h in our second equation. So what that gives us is a new equation that looks like this f plus 3 times, we're not going to call it h anymore, we're going to call it 1 half f, and that equals 150. And now we have what we were shooting for. We have an equation with only one variable, in this case f. So we've got f plus 3 times a half is 3 halves. Alright, so now what's f plus 3 halves f? Well, we can think of f as being 1f, and then 1f plus 3 halves f is just 1 plus 3 halves. 1 is 2 halves. We can do that. No, not to ourselves. 1 is 2 halves. So 2 halves plus 3 halves makes 5 halves. So 5 halves f equals 150. Now we want to get rid of that 5 halves that we have there. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. Multiply by 2 fifths on both sides of our equation. On the left hand side, the 2 fifths and the 5 halves go away. And on the right hand side, 150 times 2 fifths, that turns out to be 60. So we figured out is that f equals 60. Now it's always a good rule of thumb to go back and make sure that you actually answered the question. And the question here said, how much is the first place prize? Our first place prize was f. Remember, f was the first letter of the word first. And so that means that we have answered our question. Our first place prize is $60. And we're done. Now we can check our answer just to make sure, and this is also a good idea when we're working on word problems, is to make sure that our answer actually makes sense. So if our first place prize is $60, what are our honorable mention prizes? Well, our honorable mention prizes were half as much, and so that means that those would be $30. But there was also three of them. So what would the total of that be? Well, we have $60 plus 3 times 30, which is 90, and 60 plus 90 is 150. And that's what we were told the total should be, so that checks our answer. So let's walk through the process one more time. Take the words of the problem and translate them into equations. Use substitution or other algebraic techniques to get down to one equation that has one variable in it. Solve that equation. And then make sure that your answer actually makes sense by going back and checking your answer.